So, with that done, didn't quite get Kongomon. I might not have to change the layout at all today. I really thought we would have had Kongomon by now. But we haven't been fighting in higher level areas, so that makes sense. Oh, you only need... Yeah, we're definitely getting Kongomon. I'm going to get another... We still got like 20 minutes. I'm going to get another three, 400 experience without a doubt. Alright, let's talk to the big white tiger. Hi, thanks for coming. Yes, sir. Hey, Baihuman. Ha ha ha, Pogamon, you're looking well. What you see is what you get. I see. How is life treating you lately? Ah, uh, let me see. I would like to get out a little more to have some fun, but other than that, I'm really content. Can you continue on with Solo? Yeah, no problem. Of course I can. I'm relieved to hear you say that. Then Solo, please take care of Pogamon a little bit longer. Yes, sir. Uh, and, uh, do you know anything about Unknown D? No, not yet. We're all looking into it. Can you wait a little longer? I see. I guess so. I mean, we don't, we don't really have a choice. What are we going to say? Like, no, I can't. That just suddenly makes them have the information. By the way, we encountered Alphamon. What's with him? I didn't like him. I mean, he looked really cool, though. I see. So you met Alphamon. Who is that Digimon anyway? Alphamon used to be with us in trying to make the digital world a peaceful place. He was good friends with CV and Jamon. But he was against bringing you humans into the digital world and ended up leaving us. I don't know why they chose Clavis and Jamon to be like the main guy here. Especially with Alphamon being like the quote unquote villain per se. You don't ever actually fight Alphamon is why I say quote unquote. So, you know, he's like the villain mastermind, sort of, but he doesn't, uh, you don't ever actually get to fight him because Alphamon isn't coded into this game like he is Dawn and Dusk, if I'm not mistaken. But it would have made way more sense. I mean, I don't think Alphamon fits as a villain Digimon anyways. He's a way better as a hero Digimon because he's like the lone hermit, he's a royal knight and all that, but would have, if you wanted to go down that route, would have made more sense to make Omnimon take Clavis Andromon's spot, I feel like, but what do I know? Because, you know, they're the Alpha and Omega, beginning and end. But he's actually a very good guy. If he said something to offend you, then I hope you would forgive him. Uh, yes, sir. Well, just keep up the good work. All right, good talk, good talk. I believe we just need to go to the Digifarm now to proc whatever is next. Oh, no, we actually proc it right here. Oh, yeah, this part. It's these scumbags that, uh... What the heck was his name? Rio or something? The guy who had a Cy uh, Cyber Dramon beat him up for us way back when. Hey, wait a minute. You're that tamer I saw at Training Peak. You're still here, I see. I'm impressed. What? Are you gonna bully us again? Hey, that's not a nice thing to say. I would never do something like that. That's right. Kane is a great tamer. Uh-huh. We'll see about that. Solo, what's going on? Hey, isn't that Digimon... Yeah, it's the one I was raising. Huh. Is that true, Pogamon? Yeah, it is. But all you did was make me fight and treat me badly. I can't read. Ha ha ha, what are you saying? Strength is everything to Digimon. A weak Digimon is a useless one. That's right. You didn't even obey me and ran from home. You're the weakest, worst Digimon ever. I was glad when I got rid of you. Hey, hold on. Pogamon is a very kind and wonderful Digimon. Well, well, to praise a good-for-nothing Digimon like that must mean you're not much of a tamer yet. Hey, say what? Forget it, Pogamon. Just ignore him. Haha, <laughs> the worst Digimon and tamer. You two are perfect for each other. I can't wait to beat the smug idiocy right off of your face. Sorry, but we've got places to go. The best of luck to both of you. Huh. What scumbags. Pogamon, you don't have to worry about a thing they say. Uh-huh. Pogamon, what's the matter? You heard what they said about me, but I think I was much stronger in the past. Is there something you recall? No, I don't really know for sure yet. Anyway, let's return to the Digi Farm. I wonder what's going on with him. Is he starting to recall his past? He's starting to remember the time he was Black Agumon and Dark Tyrannomon going around calling people Weakmon. The worst insult you can give to a Digimon, I guess. Hey, Solo, can I ask something? What's the matter? I'd like to take some time to think. Can I be alone for a little while? Yes, of course. Thanks. See you later. 
I wonder if it's about his past. I better give him some time. Oh, hello, Kalamon. Oh no, oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! What are you so panicked about? This is no time to be standing around! Pogamon left the Digifarm on his own without telling anyone! Huh? You serious? He went towards Mangrove Woods. I think we should go after him now. Thanks, I'm going right now. Alright. I don't think I have enough time to get through Mangrove... Uh, mangrove... Mangrove Woods. We'll try to, though. Yeah, this is the... This is the area I was thinking of. Like a beachy forest area. I actually really like this area's design. It's not as bad as Loop Swamp, but it can get a little confusing with its layout. Penguinmon! Another Penguinmon! Oh my goodness, three whole Penguinmon! Unheard of. Get out of here. It's too easy. One of them lived! It's the boy who lived. Kill him. Okay, good. <laughs> that all worked out. 117 bird experience, calm down. We're gonna be getting experience out the wazoo here. Which is very good, because that means it's gonna get, uh... Wait a second. It's gonna get Darugamon up close to level 30. This just takes me back around. Oh, it takes me to this, but I can't open this until I'm gold tamer. Is this just... Okay, yeah. See, this is what I mean. This is an endless loop right here. So we have to go back the way we came and then go at the top right, I think. What the heck was I about to say? Oh, Darugamon will get, like, two level 30 or really close to level 30. And then next, uh... Ooh, Kiwimon, I need to be able to digi-convert one of you. So I need to get to 100% on your scan data while we're here. Or if I really need to, I can just come back and get it later. I actually probably should try and... I've only got, like, 10, maybe 15 minutes if I go a little over. I really should try to, uh rush to the end of the area to fight the boss. Oh, this hits like three times, doesn't it? Yo, Mangrove... Um, why do I keep wanting to say Mangrove instead of Mangrove? Am I okay? Mangrove Woods is a, a difficulty bump, I've just realized. Which is good mostly because we're getting a lot more experience from the Digimon here compared to like everywhere else we've been. Yeah, like 50 experience from one Digimon is pretty sick. And those three Penguinmon gave over 100. But uh, it would be good if we could kind of rush to the end and knock out the story stuff before I end this session. But next session, we'll do our last run through Sheer Valley. Well, our last run to get Dragon Expanse on Darugamon. Who knows when we'll have to go back there for a favor quest or something. But we'll make our last run through that. I hate the fact that one of you is slightly faster than Mega Seedramon for some reason. I'm going to let that one get his attack, and I'm going to weaken the other two that are past him, and they'll die to Water Blast. I always forget that Stingmon's attack does not do much. Not the Eternal Slapping! Ow. Well, he's going to have to be revived, because I want him to get this experience, because I want Kongomon, because, as you can tell, we need more ultimates. Growlmon is always a step ahead of his peers, so he basically counts as an ultimate, as is. But, uh... Oh, I didn't... That's not good. Having, like, no digi... I was supposed to buy items, wasn't I? I forgot to. We might actually want to back out, which means we probably won't be able to get to the boss today, but... With the trouble we're having here, the boss is going to be rough, and so we're definitely going to need a bunch of revives and stuff when that comes around. Plus, we're still pretty close to the entrance, so... It's not too bad. Do I actually need to go up right there? I don't think so. Oh, hey, Kakatorimon. There is just bird experience all over the place here. Does Varadoramon need us to have a bunch of bird experience? I don't think he does. Metal Seedramon needs us to have a lot of Aquin. That's what I'm thinking of. The best place to get Aquan experience we have not quite made it to yet. We're about to leave, so I don't care about wasting MP, because we're about to get fully healed. But, uh, the best place to get Aquan experience is a little ways... Oh, hey, Kongamon. Is a little ways into, uh, into the Gold Tamer thing, so... 
I don't know. I think a couple of Aqua and Digimon can spawn in the mang mangrove, but I'm not positive. Loop Swamp can give us a decent amount, but we have to get to, what, 6,000 Aquan? That's a lot. I've had you for a long while, though. You probably have a decent amount of Aquan already. Uh, only 1,400, actually. That's not nearly as much as I expected. That's going to be a little troublesome. So, let's Digivolve you, and then buy items. We're not going to be able to get to the boss of Mangrove today, but we can get close to it, so we'll be right there next time. Thank goodness we already have the Miracle Digi Egg. Let's go! Kongomon is one of the weird Digimon that in this game does not gain any levels upon Digivolution, but whatever. We got him! Armored Digimon, Kongomon. I did not think I would ever get you to, uh, ultimate level back, back when I first got Wormon on the team, but whatever. There we go. And of course he does not Digivolve. We could have gone Grand Kuagamon or Machine Dramon, but uh, I've used them in playthroughs recently, so I didn't want to. What moves you got, Kongomon? Electro Shocker, very useful. You are basically a Kabuterimon. And then you might get to level 35 before I replace you. I don't think you will, but you might. All right, cool. So now we got Kongomon to help us out until we replace him. And the Digimon that I'm having replace him will already be an ultimate, so we won't be downgrading at all. You gotta get to 28, 36. You gotta get to 30. Darugamon will either be at level 30, or he'll be very close to level 30 by the time we get to the end of the Mangrove Woods. So definitely next session, after we finish Mangrove Woods, we're going to make that last run through Sheer Valley to get what we need. It will be very important at that point. All right. I have tons of money. I want to use it all on recovery items. It is so weird to click left to add more. That is very strange. I, I, you're always going to need a bunch of these, so I may as well just, like, dump a ton of money into them. Like, revived teas will always be useful for the entire game. Uh, I don't think I want to buy Soma. I don't have any Digimon over 600 HP, I think. So this should be good enough. We don't need the full heal stuff. Just give me like 10 of those. Please come again, indeed. Also, we can sell weapons. I always forget that. We'll need to do that at some point. Alright, whoops. I want to buy some Revive S's, because they're cheap, and sometimes you only need to revive one Mon. And again, this is something we'll need throughout like, the entirety of the game. Revive D's, I feel like, are the most worthless. Typically. So, I usually just buy S's and T's. Alright, now that we have some revives and a little bit of HP healing as well, in case we need it. Which has basically made us poor. Let's go back to the mangrove. I've got about five-ish minutes here, so let's just get as deep in as we can, and then we can start next session by beating the boss. That'll be really good, actually. Next session, we can beat the boss and finish up Mangrove Woods, and then we'll make that last run through Sheer Valley to get the last 500 Dragon experience on uh, Darugamon. Rock Propeller! I did nothing! Kongomon is more of a defensive Digimon, so it makes sense. Just really worried you weren't going to die to that. Thank you for dying. Drugamon only has three levels to go. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had a tickle in my throat. Three more levels on Drugamon, four more on Garurumon to get back to where Garurumon. And Groundmon's about to hit level 30. What does he need? 35? But he also needs all that strength buffing. So he's going to have to go into the farm for just a little bit, unfortunately. Hopefully, I was getting chocolate drops in uh, Cheer Valley. Hopefully, I actually have, like, how much chocolate do I have? And then we can also buy Sundays if we really need to. They restore half of your whatever. Only five, so that's one, one free thing of stress. Sundays do 50% stress, so they knock out 50 of or half of it. And we can buy those now at the back item shop, so... We can always do that if we need to. To be able to really quickly buff his attack to get War Grime on. Because the sooner everyone digivolves to ultimate, the better. I think talking to Baihumon might actually, like, sort of be the halfway point a little bit. I really thought that Penguinmon would die to Spiky Nails, by the way. Sadly, he did not. Not the Piercing Beak. 
Ow. But yeah, I'm... Could be wrong, but I think that, uh... We're sort of, like, kinda halfway now. Halfway through the, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, I gotta stretch. Through being a silver tamer, that's what I'm trying to say. Actually... This area is a little long, and then there's another long area after this, but I think the long area after this one is the last area. Or maybe there's one more in between, I can't remember. I also just remembered who the final boss is of, uh... of Silver Tamarank, and it's actually really cool. I look forward to getting to see it again. Gotta go this way, I think. I do not remember the layout of this place, I'm just guessing, and trying to memorize where I've gone. As best I can. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be going, like, down and left overall, so... Trying to keep always going in that general direction. Blaze Blast! Please don't live, Penguin Mon. Actually, it's fine if you live. Well, you died anyway. I was gonna say it's fine if you live, because I'll just use, um... Electro Shocker, and I want to see it anyway, so I'm gonna use it. Right, it's exactly like, uh... Metallic Ball. They reuse a lot of animations in this game, which is understandable because it's a very old... You're not going to die to this, are you? Thank you. It's a very old DS game. Alright. Actually, we might already be near the end. But, I mean, that's fine because I'm about to wrap up here. I have to get these rendered to go up today, and these videos take a good while to render because two screens rendering at once with the layout as well. It takes a good deal longer than the average video that renders out for me. Probably should have spiky nailed the uh, Kiwi Mon actually and then Electro Shockered them both, but whatever. I don't think you're going to die to this. Nope. Hopefully you both died a Water Blast. Actually, I should have just hit the Penguin Mon to make sure it was weak enough. Hindsight's 2020 and all that. Be gone. How dare you live? I knew I should have hit you. What is Congo Mon's? Uh, I actually didn't pay attention to it. What is Congo Mon's thing? Is it charge? I want to. I want to like see it. I do like the support setup I have. I, I don't know any way. There's not a guard option like I think there is in Dawn and Dusk. Is there a guard option in Dawn and Dusk? Or maybe that's just in the Cyber Sleuth games. Whatever, we'll see it eventually. I am loving this constantly getting over 100 experience, though. It's very nice. This might be the... I think we might already be very close to the end? I can never tell. Oh, hey, Parrotmon. If I remember right, I'm pretty sure there's a, a favor quest for Parrotmon in the Gold Tamer ranks. I think can't recall, but I think there might be. So, it would be good to get your scan data, but your ultimate, so I'd have to run into, what, eight more of you? We can always come back and get it. Yeah, I definitely, uh, definitely want to replace Kongomon, because it's nice having a tanky boy, but my goodness, his, his attack stat is just so bad. He does so little damage compared to Graumon and Mega Seedramon. It's, it's pretty poor. Although, now that I think about it, I think Parrotmon might actually be, um... He might resist lightning-based moves, because I think that's one of the elements he uses. Oh, you have charge. That makes sense. So, uh, it might just be that electric moves don't do much. But see, that charge did so little. I, it, it's definitely that Kongomon is just fairly weak in terms of attack power. Oh, I think this is the end right here. It is. All right, cool. That is perfect, then. We're going to wrap up here, because I'm a little bit over an hour. And, uh... When we come back, I mean, I think this is the best setup to go with. This is why I bought healing items. Ooh, I'll use this ROM T, actually, instead of using one of my 600s. Perfect. Yeah, I'm actually, everyone's down at like, okay, Darugamon, okay, yeah. These guys just happen to have small amounts of HP. These guys are all like four, and then Darugamon is six, or almost 600, so that makes sense. Uh, Use these small MP chips. Mostly to make sure that you're good to use Blaze Blasts non-stop. I don't think Kongomon needs any more, but you might. I'm pretty sure this boss we're going to fight. The boss is Daramon, and he only takes up one space because he's a Digimon that you can actually get naturally. So, we uh, do not want to... Uh, don't want to worry too much about having multi-hit enemy spots because we can only hit 
Daramon in one location. But that is going to be all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. When we come back next time, we'll fight Daramon to save Pogamon and etc. And then we're going to run back through Sheer Valley one more time to get Dora Greymon. Or get the experience for him because we're getting pretty close to Dora Greymon. We got through Mangrove Woods faster than I thought we would, which is probably for the best. But, uh, oh my goodness, stretch. We'll have Darugamon at level 30 in no time. I definitely want to have all of my Digimon at ultimate level, except maybe Pekmon, because it's going to take so long to get to level 36. But uh, I want them all at ultimate or close to ultimate before we finish being a Silver Tamer. And I think we might have one more area that I'm forgetting to go through, and then we go through the final area of Silver Tamer. But I know we're definitely, once you beat Daramon, you're pretty close to being done with being a Silver Tamer. So we'll be gold before we know it. But thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you next time. And until then, farewell.